What's up, YouTube? What's going on, Landshark Nation? Victor here. Brooke here. Hi. Captain Brooke. And today we are going offshore finally because it finally laid down. And we don't know what we're going to target. We got a, a rods for everything. We got rods for muttons, for kings, for dolphin. And I think the fish are popping out there. So hopefully we'll do good. And I'm going to enjoy my wonderful pub sub. Greatest subs on earth. If you guys. Even better on a boat. Even better on a boat. If you guys are not from Florida and you're watching this, I feel bad for you because Publix has the greatest subs ever. <laughs> you guys love pub subs as much as we love pub subs. Comment below, pub subs. <laughs> right now. Don't even wait till the end of the Don't video. Don't even wait. Do it right now. Do it right now. All right, we'll see you guys out there. Okay, so check it out. Got a little spro jig just like this. I got a bucktail on that one, and all we're doing is um, basically slow trolling them and like, not slow trolling, but like going at like eight knots, just right behind the boat, and there's a bunch of little bullet bonitas around, and we try to catch one, and then we put it back out on this rig right here, on the Avit, with the Stinger rig, and then we slow troll the bonitas behind the boat. Okay, this is the Spro Jig rod, just got hit. A uh, little bullet bonita gonna be on. We're gonna send them right back out and try to, there we go, the million dollar bait right there. Thank you. Hands down, one of the best baits you can fish offshore. They love that little white jig. They'll eat almost anything with a nice little white hair, any little like nylon or bucktail jig. So right here, one through the nose. So we swim straight and so they stay alive when you troll them. And then one right here in the back, the treb. And just like that, we're on, we're on, we're on, on the bullet bonita. Are we? Did it drop it? Oh, it's back. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Now it's running. There we go. It was just swimming towards us. It's a king. It's a nice king right there. See him? You ready to gaff, Brooke? I love kingfish. Take your time. Yeah! What a good girl. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good job, babe. Yeah. Solid king. And I got a great girlfriend who knows how to gaff a fish. That's the best part about this whole thing. Catching them is one thing, but being out here with someone you love, you can't beat that. So, really pretty king, all lit up with a bunch of spots on them. Great gaff shot, treble hook right there in the mouth, and we're gonna get another one. He didn't mess up the wire at all. Careful when holding kings, because they got a nice set of teeth on them, but a real pretty fish on a live bonita, all lit up, and we're gonna get another one. Look at, the, look at that mouth, sick. Nice. They're meant to slice things. Look right. at that gaff yeah. shot right in the head. Yeah, Brooke did good. All right, let's go get another one. And on top. Oh, bite size. Bring him to me. Oh, it's a little max. <gasps> oh my gosh. This thing is gonna get smoked. Stop. There you go. Swim off. Oh go put in gear. Oh boy. Last time we put one out, we didn't get hit, and Brooke had no faith in the mackerel, but this time it's gonna get hit. I just think there was no fish around last time, but these things should get smoked. So that was a cereal mackerel, not a Spanish, not a king, but a different species. And you can tell because they have that, that uh, those lines on them instead of those dots. Scaled. These things are so slimy and so scaly. Oh yeah, I think he just got eaten now. Yep, he just got eaten. Oh, it's a sail! Oh, so 
No way! A sailfish ate the mackerel! Sick! Brooke, here, 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 here. Get it, take it, take it, take it. That is awesome! No way! Oh my gosh! I'm got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it on. A sail, you just freaked out. And what'd you hook it on? On a live mackerel, slow trolling a live mackerel. I've never done that before. That was oh, awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, he's dipping. He's dipping. He was all lit up. Real pretty fish. That sailfish ate back. So you never know what you're gonna get. Kingfish, sailfish. You could catch a big tuna doing this. Yeah. Big dolphin, wahoo. And I think I'm gonna put the boat in gear and we're gonna chase it. All right. So stay tuned. So we're chasing the fish and Brooke is at the bow and we're trying to gain some line on him because he dipped. He took it down to about a quarter, quarter spool in no time. So we're trying to chase after this fish right now. See how dark they turn after you've been fighting them for a while? When you first hook them, they're all white and lit up. And then uh, as you fight them, they get darker and darker and darker. Jump, 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 jump. He wants to jump. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Jump, 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 jump. He wants to jump. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so sick. Get it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Run, run back here. Okay, ready? Okay, we gotta do this fast. Okay, we got the hooks out. The hooks are out of them. Yeah, revive them a little bit. Now, to revive a sailfish, or just like any other billfish or any big species, you gotta put his head in the water, just like this. Put the boat in gear, and then let him flow forward. So we got the boat in gear, just above idle, and just keep, hold on to him until he's ready to go. You're gonna feel him and just get water rushing past his gills. We had to take this one into the boat because the hooks were wrapped up in his belly and his throat, so I wanted to get the hooks out because he was gushing but bad. There he goes. So he's looking better already. Just holding him by the nose and see his tail starting to kick on its own and the water's just rushing past his gills and he's reviving himself. Okay, so we've been doing this for about two minutes now and the longer the better. Just hold on to him, keep his head in the water, with the boat in gear, just let the water rush past his gills. That way you ensure that when these fish swim off, they have the maximum chance of survival. Because there's no point in releasing it dead. Hold on one second. I guess he wants to go to the front of the boat. Oh yeah. Here is what's left of our Bonita that just got smoked by that king back there. Perfectly cut in half, just missed the treb. Well, it's getting late, the sun's going down and we wanna go shark fishing tonight. So we're gonna head in. I'm reeling in the last bait. Gonna go take some cool pics by the lighthouse and then we will head to the beach. So sad releasing this guy. Looks so good. We're still super lively. Yeah, we are. So here's a little quick little tip. So these are the bullet bonitas that we're trolling. They're this big, and I have a stinger rig, just like this. If you don't know how to make one, you can probably look up a video on YouTube. But here's a little tip I'll show you guys. If you fish a little swivel right there, from your main hook down to your treb, it, what it does is this will flow a lot freer and it'll stay in line with its body more. Sometimes when you don't have that little swivel right there, this connection is very rigid and it the wire just doesn't sit as nicely and it's not as presentable. So I put a little swivel right there and gives the bonita, it makes them swim better and it keeps your wire in line better.